It has been a year since Pennsylvania Secretary of State Kathy Bookvar resigned after failing to advertise a constitutional amendment that would help sex abuse survivors. A crushing blow to victims who feel abused by the system. As Dennis Owens reports, their wait for justice continues. So at 10 o'clock in the morning a year ago today. State Rep Jim Gregory got a call from Governor Wolf. He thought to congratulate him that his constitutional amendment bill to let sex abuse survivors sue perpetrators would pass the Senate. Only to have the gut punch of exactly opposite that, that we were going to have to start the process over again. The amendment wouldn't be on the ballot because Wolf's Department of State failed to properly advertise it as required by the Constitution. They were counting on having the ability to find closure, seek justice, they were failed. In response, lawmakers proposed several bills in the past year. One would make the legislature responsible for writing and advertising ballot questions. Senator Kristen Phillips Hill's bill would create an online tracker so the public could monitor the amendment process. It will prevent failure in the future. And I always think that it's good. To, to shine light on what government does. Gregory, a sex abuse survivor himself, authored a bill to open a two-year window to sue. It passed the House, but stalled in the Senate. I've tried to come to terms with it that um, over in the Senate, um, the leader is not interested in, in running it, and uh, there's nothing I can say or do that's going to change that. So victims wait. A constitutional amendment do-over is on track to appear on the ballot in the spring of 2023. Gregory is confident that Pennsylvanians will support it if given the chance, but understandably, he's cautiously optimistic. There are forces that do not want to see this happen, and uh, those forces will continue to work to try to keep it from happening. The Department of State has said it has changed its internal policies and procedures so that a similar botched amendment can never happen again. In Harrisburg, Dennis Owens, ABC 27 News.